We've now registered our first service with console and we've shown how you can use the HTTP API or DNS interface to query the address and directly connect to that service. Console also provides a feature called Connect for automatically connecting via an encrypted TLS connection and authorizing which services are allowed to connect to each other. Applications do not need to be modified at all to use Connect. Sidecar proxies can be used to automatically establish TLS connections for inbound and outbound connections without being aware of Connect at all. Applications may also natively integrate with Connect for optimal performance and security. This getting started guide will show Connect features and focus on ease of use with a dev mode agent. We will not set up Connect in a production recommended secure way. Please read the Connect production guide to understand the trade-offs. If you haven't already, start a console agent in dev mode pointed at a local configdir, optionally providing a node name. Let's begin by starting a service that is unaware of Connect. To keep it simple, let's just use SoCat to start a basic echo service. This service will accept TCP connections and echo back any data sent to it. If SoCat isn't installed on your machine, it should be easily available via Package Manager. You can verify it's working by using NC to connect directly to it. Once connected, type some text and press Enter. The text you typed should be echoed back. SoCat is a decades-old Unix utility, and our process is configured to only accept a basic TCP connection. It has no concept of encryption, the TLS protocol, or anything else. This can be representative of an existing service in your data center, such as a database or a back-end web service. Next, let's register the service with console. We'll do this by writing a new service definition. This is the same as the previous step in the Getting Started Guide, except this time we'll also configure Connect. Notice the only difference is the line starting with Connect. The existence of this empty configuration notifies console to register a sidecar proxy for this process. The proxy process represents the specific service. It accepts inbound connections on a dynamically allocated port, verifies and authorizes the TLS connection, and proxies back a standard TCP connection to the process. After saving this, run console reload or send a SIGHUP signal to console so it reads the new configuration. The sidecar service registration here is just telling console that a proxy should be running. Console won't actually run a proxy process for you. We need to start that in another terminal. Run console connect proxy sidecar for SOCAT. Next, let's connect to the service. We'll first do this by using the console connect proxy command again directly. This time, we use the command to configure and run a local proxy that can represent a service. This is a useful tool for development since it'll let you masquerade as any service that you have permissions for and establish connections to other services via Connect. The command below starts a proxy representing a service web. We request an upstream dependency of SOCAT, the service we previously registered, on port 9191. With this configuration, all TCP connections to 9191 will perform service discovery for a Connect-capable SOCAT endpoint and establish a mutual TLS connection identifying as the service web. With that running, we can verify it works by establishing a connection in a new terminal. The connection between proxies is now encrypted and authorized. We're now communicating to the SOCAT service via a TLS connection. The local connections to and from the proxy are unencrypted, but in production, these will be loopback only connections. Any traffic in and out of the machine is always encrypted. We previously established a connection by running console connect proxy in developer mode. Realistically, services need to establish connections to dependencies over connect. 
let's register a service web that registered SOCAT as an upstream dependency in its sidecar registration. Here's the configuration code for that. This sidecar registers a proxy for the service web that should only listen on port 9191 to establish connections to SOCAT as web. The web service should then use that local port to talk to SOCAT rather than attempting to directly connect over the network. With that file in place, again use console reload or sighub to reload console. If the proxy command from the previous section with the inline upstream listener is still running, stop it with control C. Now we can start the web proxy using the configuration from the sidecar registration as we did for SOCAT. Note in the first log line that the proxy discovered its configuration from the local agent and set up a local listener on port 9191 that will proxy to the SOCAT service just as we configured in the sidecar registration. You can also see the identity URL from the certificate it loaded from the agent identifying it as the web service and a set of trusted root CAs that it knows about. The Connect security model does require trusting loopback connections when proxies are in use. To further secure this, tools like network namespacing may be used. We can now verify that it works in a new terminal by establishing a new connection. Intentions are used to define which services may communicate. Our connections above succeeded because in a development mode agent, the ACL system is allow all by default. Let's insert a rule to deny access from web to SOCAT. We'll use console intention create deny web SOCAT. With the proxy process running that we set up previously, connection attempts now fail. Try deleting the intention and attempt the connection again. Console intention delete web SOCAT. Note that in the current release of console, changing intentions will not affect existing connections. Therefore, you must establish a new connection to the see the effects of a changed intention. This will be addressed in the near term in a future version of console. Intentions allow services to be segmented via a centralized control plane, console itself. To learn more, read the reference documentation on intentions. This quick guide has given a taste of what Connect can do, but there is much more. Take a look at Getting Started with Connect for more guides on setting up Connect with the Envoy proxy, with Docker, and in Kubernetes. We've now configured a service on a single agent and used Connect for automatic connection authorization and encryption. This is a great feature highlight, but let's explore the full value of console by setting up our first cluster.